The successful birth of Melbourne's second baby elephant can be attributed to the hard work from Kulab the mother as well as a team of dedicated experts from Melbourne Zoo, Gribbles Pathology and the University of Melbourne. Elephant births in zoos can be complicated and it is important to make sure a team of experts are on deck to help out if needed. But having a team of helpers available requires knowing exactly when the mother will give birth. This has proven to be difficult to predict in elephants in the past. Around the world, people have um, done some research and found that if we measure progesterone levels um, through pregnancy, in fact, the progesterone levels, which are very high throughout the elephant's pregnancy, will drop about three to five days before birth occurs. And so that has become a very, very useful um, indicator for us. However, in the research um, into elephant progesterone levels, we've found that their levels are actually a lot lower than many, many other mammals. And so the progesterone, the assays that we must use in the laboratory need to be more sensitive than those used for other mammals. Medical scientists from the University of Melbourne were able to custom design a blood test that could accurately predict the time of labour. Basically we took a human progesterone test kit, um, and a radioimmunoassay test kit that is used to determine relatively high levels of progesterone in women and we modified that to be able to detect the very low levels of progesterone in a pregnant elephant. Having a, an accurate progesterone assay was vital in determining when the elephant calf would be born um, because there are so many complications that can occur with a calf delivery and obviously they needed to have all hands on deck to assist Coolab with the delivery. Vets from Melbourne Zoo regularly took blood samples from Coolab and sent it off for testing at the pathology clinic at the University of Melbourne. We were running weekly progesterone assays for Coolab and then as her due date approached we were running them every second day and then um, once we detected a drop in the original um, drop in progesterone. We started running them um, twice a day. Fortunately, we got the test spot on and we saw the drop in progesterone, I think, on a Monday and we confirmed that she was at baseline over the next two days and then he was born on the Friday. So it was sort of four days between the drop in progesterone and the calf being born. So it was very effective in getting the timing right. Techniques for monitoring elephant pregnancies are still being refined. Gribble's veterinary pathology also trialled an alternative progesterone test. Both tests were found to be effective. There are likely to be many more elephant pregnancies in zoos in Australia as part of the conservation effort to save this endangered species. Asian elephants are endangered in the wild and they haven't had a good history of breeding well in captivity. So it was important for us to, to make that contribution to worldwide conservation. It was very exciting to be asked to do this work. It was a great privilege to be involved with something that was so eagerly anticipated by not only the zoo staff but um, obviously the zoo patrons that, um, that go to the zoo. And um, yes, it was, it was lovely to see a, a healthy baby boy born at the end of all this laboratory work.